Hi guys, it's Kim and it's Friday and I have a fun gift that I received from my good friend Judy. Hi Judy, you're so sweet. You quit, need to quit spoiling me, but I love it. So she sent me some goodies and then if I have time I'll share my Dollar Tree items. Sorry, I feel like I had a mosquito in here a minute ago. Look at this card. <gasps> I love it. For my retirement. Goodbye, tension. Hello, pension. Retired. Oh, my gosh. And look at the B. Look at that. Happy. Oh, my gosh. Judy, you are so sweet. Love, Jay. Oh, my gosh. Colors, my favorite. Oh, and look at this beautiful envelope. And I believe in here, I did peek. Sorry, I had to peek. I couldn't stand it. She's so cute. She always lets me know something's on its way. Yes, here it is. Here's the die. Isn't that adorable? I'm so excited. Not only did I get the card, but I can make them for other people. Thank you, Judy. You're so sweet. And in here, sorry, I know. I'm never prepared. Sorry, guys. You know, I'll use the back of this. Look at this bird's. And Ness. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. Very pretty stamp set. And these are for your putting your um, drill the trays on so they don't move. And they stick. They are um, sticky. So I'll do that. I'm going to, when I'm done here, I'm going to play with my diamond art for a little bit. And also, oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff piled in front of me here for Dollar Tree, because you know me and Dollar Tree. Anywho, all right, Kim, be quiet. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous teal pen. And it also has the different um, tweezers, so you can pick up your drills. Oh my gosh, I love it. Are those drills too? Little pens. Very nice. Thank you, Judy. She must know I like teal. And then there's this cute, oh, these are little baby rattles, a bumblebee, a ducky, a pacifier, butterfly. If I move my big finger, you can see the foot. Oh my gosh. Very cute. Now wait, there's more. And then in here, American, so different stencils. Remember, I don't know, some of you ladies been around in the crafting world for a while. The metal stencils, she sent me some. How fun. And of course, she put teal tape. What an amazing woman. Okay, let's see. Ooh, gorgeous. And I think you can emboss with these too. Like, uh, it's been a while since I've used these, so I'll have to play with it. And. Cut and fold template. Oh. oh, that's cool. So this, these came out before dies. Right before dies came out, these were popular. Cut and fold template. So you can make that. Very cool. And this. Ooh, Anna Griffin. What? Isn't that gorgeous? So what does it say? Brass stencil creates stunning embossed designs on paper. Position your stencil on a light box. Okay, secure your paper face down on the stencil. Oh, okay, that's right. And you rub wax paper over your paper surface. Trace the stencil with your embossing. Oh, yeah, remember them. Okay. Use inks, chalks, and markers. It's just been, I used to do this, but it's been, I can't remember what I did or what had for lunch today. Much less. Have you ever heard that saying? Um, anyway. Oh. Look at this little word shadow. Hello, you, thank you. There we go. Judy, why don't you want this? Do you already have these or something? Ooh, what is this? Oh, fruit basket. Oh my gosh. And a pineapple and some little tiny, I think those are strawberries. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, Judy. You're so awesome. You guys amaze me. So yes, um, five weeks ago I have my retirement shirt on. I don't know if you can see. 
I've checked off my iron off on a check mark. So I have five weeks to go, 24 days. Oh, oh, I thought that was <laughs> okay. Yeah, Kim's tired. Margaret came over. She was, she actually went to see, um, get interviewed. Oh, sorry, there's one, something else, a couple more things. Um, by a student we used to have who is now 21 who wants to be a teacher. And it's just, uh, some of these kids, it's like, okay, they make it worth reminding you. So she was out in this area anyway, Margaret was, so she came over. We ended up going out for a nice dinner. We have a town near here that has all antique shops, so we went and ate there. So, you know, we don't have to stay in Lake, or in Lake Stevens or this area, right? Okay. And here's this. How do I take my coffee? Seriously. Very seriously. So cute. Thank you, Judy. So that leads into Dollar Tree. So I go in the morning before work because they open at 8 and I don't have to be there till 8.30. So it's right near where I work. Be blessed. They are bringing in more bee stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's one of those little signs. Yeah, I just can't. Now they had three different ones of these and I restrained myself. I only got the one with the gnome on it. Aren't you proud of me? But yeah, look for these. Look at that. And I almost bought the other one so that I could alter, but I tend to not do it. So I thought, no, nah, I'm just getting the one. Just, you know, storage. Sunflower Market. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Perfect for summer. Now, that's not a hollowed up. That's a, it's in the frame. Sunflower Market since 1910. Seed stems and blooms. Gorgeous. And I love this old world, you know, like barn wood. Very cute. And, oh, this was there as well. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little cage, but it's shaped like a beehive and has bees on it. So you could alter it and it clicks down. So you can open it. So I'm thinking of like making a little bird nest or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? What, have anybody seen these? Has anybody altered one of these? <laughs> I don't know. Help me. I need ideas, ladies. Give me some ideas. You guys are great. Okay, so let's see. Oh, they had a bunch of these, and I just picked out a couple. Solar hanging, but I liked it. has that Edison look to it, bulb look. It's just LED lights in there. Like that one, and then I got one like it, only in teal. They have a bunch of different colors. So I'll probably take these out to the trailer. That's my plan. Okay, then Mark and I went out to dinner, and there's an, in another town, so we had, I go, we gotta go to the Dollar Tree, because that's the one that has the bread. So she's like, really? I go, yeah. So she bought some bread, and I got these lovely Thomas easy um, English muffins. Gotta have my bar toast. That means toast with peanut butter and jam. Okay, and then I found these teal coffee beans. Everything is gets better with coffee. So I like that. They're not the thickest, but yeah. It's okay. Then I found this and I got gave Margaret. I go, you gotta have one of these. I put it in her cart for us. Any cute? I've never seen this one. So I think this is new this year. Gnome of the Brave. So that's going out on my patriotic part or porch. Then I found this one for the trailer. Oops, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's got the metal door. I had to keep the trailer just so I'd have, because I like to decorate with trailers. <laughs> then they had three different ones of these. Margaret did one one. She said she already had one. I'm like, are you sure? Anyway, kidding. But there it is. Look at it with this little shovel and then the bell. So they had different colors, but I picked this one because of the blue, right? Cute. They had a pink one. and I don't remember. There's like three different colors. I love this kind of cowbell, so... Very cute. Put that down here. For the girls, I found they love this movie. So each of them will get one of these sticker books. These are always fun. And Kanto. It's got cute little, just for them to, you know, you've got to love. This one cracks me up. 
So, I got two of those. That's the only two they had. They think. Oh, and I decided I needed, I'm going to do my mantle in Patriotic. So I got two for each end. These, and these are sparkly. And then a big one for the middle. So one on each end of this, each side, and then in the middle of my mantle. This was this morning again. doesn't matter to you where I got it. It's not like you're going to. And they had this one. They also had it in teal, but it's a honey, right? It's got to be this honey color. I thought I even chose this over teal. <laughs> Look at it. It's got the little bee on there, and it looks like a honeycomb. You could put honey in this, I guess, but uh, I'm not going to. Maybe some LED lights, though. That would be cute. A little string of lights. Cute. And I have a philodendron. I think that's what they're called. And it's getting too big for its pot. It's been doing very well. I've been putting miracle Grow um, each week on my plants. And even though it's not under my grow light, it's by a, my kitchen window and it's doing well. So it needed to be a, give a, a bigger pot. So I got that. And of course, you know, you know, you know what color. So, and I was so cute. I said to my, I texted my son. I said, I know what you can do for me for Mother's Day. You could take me. There's a, he loves it, this nursery. And I usually get him a gift. It's his birthday this month, too. Give him a gift card there. And I said, I would love you to take me to the nursery and help me get, take your truck so we can get some bags of dirt. You can help me fill my pots and help me carry some plants. And I'll pay for the plants, but you can help me plant them and get them around because dirt's heavy, right? So he goes, oh, I'd love that. I was going to go anyway on Sunday. Is that all? He's such a good, I am so blessed. My boys are the best. I, I, when you have good kids, it's, a, I tell them they're my report card. How they turned out as adults means I did. That's my report card as a parent, right? And I get A plus, plus, plus. So anyway, enough about that, but thank you, Judy. I hope it's okay that I shared and I'm going to sprinkle these out. Cute. These grow here. Okay, it shows forget-me-nots. What's this say? Oh, so it tells you made in July. Okay. And forget-me-nots. And what are these? An African daisy. Ooh, those are pretty. So there we go, people. I had fun. Thanks for joining me, and we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.